Yeah. Just no. Uh, I, <laughs> I bet I can go to Blinded and Stone or somewhere around there and make a good living for myself. I have great skills in leather working and smithing. So whatever. Uh, side you. side comment, uh, Laster, when you you mentioned to to Karad that there's plenty of people up on the surface like you, uh, you hear from Eldest direction a. <laughs> Insight? Sure. Or... Mm -hmm. Ew. You, you feel like she's laughing in the fact that what you said is probably a falsehood. Uh, she doesn't think that Durgar are dwarves. Per se. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, it's just slight racism. Yeah. More of the fact that she's she's a little she's not sure how, how people will actually take a Duragar up in the up on the surface. Continue. Oh God, I was muted. My bad. <laughs> um, I was uh, thinking about uh, just going where the wind takes me. Can the wind take you somewhere? It's uh, you know. The hell no! I'm not going on the surface. No, I'm staying down here. Uh, what fucking places up there. What the fuck? The wind I can take you somewhere? I don't know how to respond to this. Uh, uh, he just starts let, chewing let me butt in on here whatever. For a second. So, uh, correct. Uh, uh, yeah, this is Jim Jar you know, talking. Uh, look, uh, I, I don't think he means like the wind would actually take him somewhere. It's a metaphor. Oh, like he's just gonna go wherever he feels like he wants to go, like no exact direction or anything. Yeah, it's just a metaphor. Calm down. I know you. I, I, was, little... I, I was having heart palpitations. I got scared for y'all up there. <laughs> Meanwhile, Cyrus is impressed. Sarah's using prestidigitation to blow little puffs of wind at Karad. Just... <laughs> <laughs> a little breezy, uh, Karad. This, this ain't normal. Uh, but the surface has so much more color and things to see. There's music. You got music here? What about you, Syrah? Well, when I was captured, I was on the trail of my father, but I mean, I would love to go home first. It's been such a long time. But eventually I'd g g get back on the road and start looking again. And it's funny you should mention the wind, like, it was last seen at, like, at, like, the seaside towns, but, well, obviously I never made it there. I mean, obviously for me, I'm, I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to probably stick out in Blue Moonstone. I've got stuff to do here. In my home. And for some reason, if, if like, do you, get, do you guys want to take school? I mean... You've been around with us for a while. I mean, I, I can help you out with that. Maybe I could convince him. I don't know. I'll keep a watch over over his folks down here. Maybe send messages up. I know how to get it. I've got some contacts in, in Mental Dareth. Usually a good place to, to send messages. I wouldn't su suggest 
going there, especially considering you guys don't have much money for getting up to the surface, right? Checks our pockets. No. I think I, uh, I spent most of my cash down here. Yeah, uh, if you're going to get to the surface through Mental Dare, it's a big place of commerce. Uh, not a really good place for, for trying to find it. Because people will charge you up the ass to, in order to, to help them get you up to the surface. So, Blinged In is probably your best bet. And we'll definitely find some people that can uh, can help you get to the surface. Heck, uh, we'll have a stopover in Blinged In Stone. I know we got a little business there, right? Uh, we'll stop by. By, say hi, you can see where I live. It's a great place. Trust me. Well, it's, it's, it's been better. But, you know, where we're building, it's going to be fine. And then then after that, we can uh, work on some of my contacts. I can, I'll get you up to the surface. But my home's going to be in Blingman Stone. All right. I just want to get out of here to, to, to get to the surface. I'm thinking about going back to Gondolgrim. But I'll take take that route from the surface. Much safer that way. Uh, I look at Ron uh, and uh, punch his uh, knee and say, What about you, big guy? Well, you said, said wherever the wind takes you. Well, what if the, the wind. wind has a big meaty hand and a stiff wind? <laughs> Gonna change my name to Wind, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh nice. Drive my enjoy. <laughs> What about Polly? No! I don't know her backstory. <laughs> uh, Mental note. Skip. Check with the spouse. Uh, <laughs> yeah. um, I, I, I'd like to imagine that I would ask um, Gage as well, but in the hopes of avoiding the same conflict. We'll just pretend, I guess. Pretend to pretend. Oh, I think technically, too, he can't speak at the moment. Oh. Because of his, his madness. Tragic backstory. Uh, nope. Uh, he's got a different type of madness. Okay. Oh, he's babbling. <laughs> no, he was. I, I think he was at one point, but that was temporary. Okay. Never mind. Then. Okay. Uh. Think we went down the list. Uh. All uh, right. Prince Darrendel, the uh, Quagoth, says, "So I will get to my service and f go back to my people. I'm sure we have sorcerers that we will." Able to turn me back to my elven form. You, you do your best, bro. Whatever. Oh, we, Whatever. we have a sorcerer right here. Points at Karad. Uh, I will. Uh, I will find my own people. It'll be fine. Yeah. I mean, it was a very powerful polymorph spell. I'm still... Look at me. I'm, for the longest time that I've been with you, I've not changed away. Does it, isn't polymorph a, 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 normally a temporary spell? Can I poke his head? <laughs> I mean... Um, you, I'm sorry. Uh, More specifically, I want to uh, fill his hair if he has any. Um... I'm, I'm, uh, checking for, like, illusion magic, you know, how, like, if you touch. So, yeah, so, so if you, you, you probably go up to him and, and, and ask, maybe ask for consent. 
right? No, I I just literally just you come in. Uh, he's looking at you, and you just kind of see him see like poking at his fur, and he feels like fur. Okay, that's a good polymorph spell. Polymorph, you would know, uh, actually change you into the actual thing, so it would not be an I, illusion. <laughs> no, um, I was just trying to give a an excuse on why I poked him. <laughs> Well, yes, we, we, we've known this for a while. <clears throat> Same say. Um, I still don't believe that he's um an actual elf, but yeah. um, and if. I'll ask uh, whomever is in charge of the circle people if they need help, any uh, extra help with uh, watch tonight. Uh, Basidia, the sovereign, uh, says, uh, no, we'll be fine. And please have your rest. You've helped us and on. In our time of need, we will ensure that you make it safely to bling Ninstone. Oh, awfully kind of you. Hey, would you happen to have any extra uh, change on you? I'm sorry? Uh, I'm asking for, like, money, but I don't know how to say change in our terms. I don't know. Oh, I'm asking for money. Gold, silver, whatever. Mm. Uh, still does. Uh, well, we don't really use that in our our lifestyle, so it's, I mean, that's what I thought. It's not, not what our people do, so we don't really have anything like that. I mean, might be right. for some of them might might be that won't worth some money, but we would have to make it to bling the stone and sell it. Yeah. All right. And I don't think my people would actually be any near blinged in stone. We'll, we'll get close enough that we can easily point you guys and then, then let you guys be off and we'll go on our own mighty way. Probably the other direction because I believe Mendo Barazan is... I heard Mendo Barazan's in that, also in that general direction as well. What is that? Uh, that is the home of the drow. I feel like we should still be wary of drow. Uh, I I just feel a bit suspicious about. Oh, not the that because you were captured by them and they were put, trying to to put you to sleep. Even the drow that you were hanging out with, his head exploded with mushroom spores. It's. I mean, you really haven't had that bad of experience with drow. I have no idea why you would think that. I just feel like you gotta be safe these days. <laughs> um, maybe we should avoid that area if we can. Yeah, we just have to go in that general direction, uh, but we're not gonna go directly there. Systems are. Uh, it seems like the I, th I have a good feeling about these uh, the circle of explorers. I think they, they're doing a pretty good job. Seems like they're tracking, be getting around here. I mean, this is this is their job. It's they're good people. Alright. <clears throat> well, um, I'll set up my spot and wait for Ron to come of Ron. cuddle and yeah, go to sleep. Get manhandled. Y'all go to sleep, have a good sleep, wake up, have breakfast, 
courtesy hey. of your Durgar friend. How is it this morning? I see. It's good uh, Mexican heat. Oh, I, I meant um, like a, a Karat's cooking. Yeah, spicy. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what you said. <laughs> I didn't. I was like, and I was spicy. just elaborating with the Mexican heat to kind of give you a general idea. I did not, not hear Max. the spicy part. <laughs> um, okay. Nice. All right. Uh, let me do a couple things here. And what sort of pace did you want to go at? Bront is encouraging another fast pace. So healthy and happy for the most part. Yeah. So far. What's gonna? Yeah, I'll do my usual rounds, of course. Gimming. But if no nothing sticks out, then yeah, let's do fast. All right. With the help of the explorers, you get advantage on the roll. Oh. Survival in Lassiter. Okay. You have the higher survival. Just because you're more wise. Yeah. Somehow. <laughs> um, uh, 17. All right. Seem to move on just fine along the path. Uh, you end up getting into a more open area, but it's dimly lit by a substance you've become familiar with. Nope. <laughs> uh, it doesn't seem to be very thick. It's just kind of spots here and there, but enough to give you at least some dim lighting. Nope. We got plenty of light. Quickly make your way through into a less fair fair's rest area. Cool. I'm able to find another camping spot. Anything you would like to have done during the during the march, or again, going to, or anything you would like to do in the evening? Uh, I have those two scrolls that I would like to copy, but I don't have the money or the materials for it, so not really. You uh, talk to the talk to Basidia or anybody about that? Well, I mean, they kind of already told us they don't have money. I really need you oh. need need uh, ink and parchment equivalent to a certain cost. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I'm trying to. F find what roles they were again but because I only have 49 gold I'm poor that's not gonna do anything we're all poor I know but I don't want to borrow from people I mean um, always group funds do we have group funds? Who who's in charge of the group funds? Uh, probably the person with the uh, bag of holding. Oh, how much money do we have? Uh, <laughs> fifteen platinum, one thousand five hundred seventy-six gold, fifty silver, thirty-four copper. We got the money. We got the money. Um. Darn, doesn't that mean that if uh if Karat is the treasure keeper, um 
if Karad is disbanding himself from the party, who's going to become the new treasure keeper? I wonder. Well, it kind of sounds like we're all splitting in different directions, so it's kind of one of those, hey, here's everyone's cut. It's the anime time skip. Since we also have, I have a shit ton of things to still to sell. One, two, yeah, I mean, three, honestly, I, I'd rather, I'd rather just keep everything until we get to town because we don't know what we're gonna find there. Yeah, the well, stuff you, you want to buy. Everything until you get to town, anyways. <laughs> yeah, so I'd rather get just my own. Yeah, I mean, I'm not really wanting for anything. I'm just. I'm pretty sad at the moment. Ooh, oh, I'm good. Uh, this this might be a tedious idea, or something of that sort. But um, what if we made like a a group character, a character sheet that pretty much would hold all of our inventory that's shared. So that we can go back and look. Uh, there, there is a sheet called Party Inventory. Oh. All players have access to. Uh, which is currently yep. only editable by... <laughs> Karad. Which, oh. I will start adding all the stuff in there. I don't see it. If you go into the journal on roll twenty, so the second tab. Oh, roll twenty. On the very top. Oh. Huh. I click on party inventory, but it comes it's up. It's blank right now. He has until laid out again. Oh, okay. That's in process. Okay. So cool Grad makes dinner and starts taking inventory and starts writing some things down on a piece of, of uh, Zirkwood parchment. <laughs> um. Um. I know they don't need any help, but I'd like to like stay up a bit. Um. After everyone else is going to sleep and just keep my own little watch um yeah like one of those uh paranoid uh watches you know <laughs> so you kind of take the watch on your own just just cause yeah well, I don't the paranoia talking, but <clears throat> I don't necessarily trust the circle people all that much. No, you don't I mean, trust there's a always... bunch of Mykonids, a bunch of mu mushroom people that stool trust implicitly. No, <laughs> Just don't trust. I mean, anybody. remember we all yes. we always we always have our familiars to kind of help us keep watch that yeah. you keep forgetting about. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't want to go around and bother people uh, just because I'm paranoid. And yeah, that gold, gold uh, pseudo dragon that's hanging around your shoulders. <laughs> oh, I guess Except he when you could. Sleep, he he kind of jumps off and just kind of like lays nearby. Okay, that works. You always ask him to keep watch. I mean, he's fine. How do I know if he actually uh, does it? <laughs> you don't. <laughs> All right, cool beans. That's what I'll do. This is the. He, if for some reason, it feels like maybe he's not really your familiar. He's just acting like it. <laughs> Kind of, kind of. One of those things.
Get uh, have a good rest. Wake up in the morning. Have uh, some breakfast. Go to see Brad. <laughs> uh, the uh, hunters uh, do come and bring some uh, some meats to Karad, seeing that he's been pretty much the cook. The respect. Best you recognized. Circle of hunters and circle of uh, uh, explorers. Uh, they didn't really actually kill them. They just found them dead. <laughs> Are they spoiled? Nope. They're fine. As long as it's not spoiled, they'll be good. What, what kind of meat is this? Uh, is it like deep wrath? What is it called? Sarah's just like Sarah's just like I haven't seen many cows in down here. I'm like, what is that? <laughs> if my time in the military has ever taught me anything, it's never question the chef. So Karad will serve the food and she'll press the detail like a little bit of salt and peppers. <laughs> It's a little bit spicy. I forgot the top of my beverage. Oh well, that's okay. It's fine. I'll give it a little bit longer. All right, going to go for another fast pace. Mm -hmm. uh, Seem to be making good we, speed. Should we make sure everyone's up to it before we choose? Uh, Have um, a nice rest. Seems okay. Seems to be good. All right, fast pace. All right, with advantage. Give me a. Uh, Survival check. Unnatural 20. Or as some like to say, dirty, dirty 20. 20. Your dirty 20 ensures that you keep making pace. Uh, you get reports from the Surfer Explorers that uh, uh, seems like we're probably about a quarter of the way there. That's good. Right. Is that right. Party inventory is set. And, uh, Karad, roll me a d20. Oh, yeah. Oh. Alright. No, 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 no. 19. Party. During your journey, what happens? Uh, you're running no, into. No. Let's see here. You wander into an area, area, uh, into some tunnels. Now, let me actually get you guys on here. Oh boy. Oh boy. You the battle music. NPCs along. Squeeze you in here. Oh, it's so tight. Oh, y'all. 
Hello, everybody. Okay. Oh, we Can went we... to see Thor over the weekend. While we were waiting. Uh, it? <laughs> Solid 8 out of 10. Nice. You run into an area and uh, you hear a click clacking sound as you see coming in out of one wall, kind of squeezing its way out. Out is uh, one of the clickers things. Oh, aren't they just precious? And squeeze into another uh, uh, crack in the, in the wall across across from where the other one's coming out is another one. One and uh, they're kind of click clacking and screeching and trying to squeeze into another area. In the behind it, you hear a. <laughs> <laughs> of several voices. No. Coming um, from, coming from like here. I don't know if it matters, but I can't see anything. Hold on, Lasser. Let me find you here and make sure your lighting is appropriate. You should be on the right side of the map, by the way. Yeah, though. Can't see nothing. All right. Let me, let me, let me this? fix your vision. How about this? I can see your circle. My I can't ping. see what the... Uh, I, don't, I don't see what you're pinging. Get better eyesight. No, it's... uh, Yeah, I'm working on that. 120 feet, right? Uh, by belief. Yes. So. Can you say, see things now? Yes. I can't see clear. I'm good. I'm sorry. Oh, they're big boys. Hey, aren't those those things that uh, we ran away from, like in the beginning? Mm. Or was it something else? No, I'm not sure if you ran into any of these creatures. Like this to remind you. Mm. Uh -huh. Actually, I may have a. Oh, uh, it was the rock. Yeah, I think these are definitely not those. Eric, yeah. here's a uh, handout. So you can see the full image. They're so cute. <laughs> Squawk. <laughs> uh, the one that that comes popping out, uh, kind of looks and and sees you, squawks, and goes and starts pushing the other one into the hole. This wants a yeah. hug. Squawk, squawk, buddy, squawk, squawk. Is there yeah. <laughs> pushing? Squawk, squawk, into the squawk. wall. Yeah, squawk, they, squawk, it, they, it seems like the areas with these things that they're trying to get into are just very narrow and they're kind of big for it. They can get into it, but they have to squeeze through. They're big boys. Do they seem afraid of us? Uh, they, uh, roll me an inside check. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um, they don't seem to be afraid of you necessarily, but they're afraid of something. They seem to be running from something. Oh, that's not good. Um, where's Rot? Hey, well, they're Rot. afraid of me. I get it. I hide behind Rot. Popping out, you see one of <coughs> these things. Knowles! Oh. One of the good boys. <laughs> yeah. Sure. <laughs> I throw a biscuit. <laughs> I throw you. <laughs> Holly just yeets. Lassiter. <laughs> no, we're done with this. I don't think he can fight back. Pick you up by your scruff and just. So, are you guys doing anything or are you just gonna stand there? 
I mean, it's hey. not coming after us. As far as I can tell. That looks like survival of the fittest yeah. to me. If they honestly. start turning, turning towards us, then yeah, they're gonna get some fire in the face, but... Oof. Dodged. Till then. It's Actually, seeing, knowing Crad, seeing that he'd go invisible. <laughs> seeing the gnolls, he'll, he'll go invisible. What was the save for? Oh! Oh, wait. Oh, I what? used the wrong thing. Oh, okay. That explains that. I wonder what all that was about. Uh, wondering is, uh, one of those wonderful things. Uh, you don't have to do it. So let's carry on. You hear the cackling and kind of slight barking coming from the hole that they went into. We'll just kind of peek around this corner to see what, what they were coming from. It's a bloody mess. Don't see anything immediately. Oh huh, no, there's strange. power left. Oh. There you are. <laughs> I too cast invisible now. <laughs> Fuck this shit I'm out. Ooh. I can see them. I I am actually going to like do like a little, be... little Don't ask. Peek. I just want to know what's going on, really. Oh, they left. Never mind. Well, gone. Shall we carry on? Yeah, I'm not. Hey, that wasn't my fight. <laughs> Monsters chasing not monsters. I'm not getting involved. Not my pony, not my show. Survival of the fittest. I just assume everybody's coming along. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would say <laughs> I'm following Karad, but he's invisible. So. Ninja. Just. <sighs> As we go down south, I Are we still would assume. Are we still following the circular people? The people of circles? Uh, they are been following you at this point in time. Oh, okay. They they saw people being attacked and they're they they moved to the back. They switched. I guess I would ask them which way should we go? Since we're at a fork in the road. Or several yeah. forks. Yeah. Um, uh, when the explorer uh, says, uh, honestly, I, I didn't realize that we turned into the wrong tunnel. I don't know where this is. Uh, I know I've had, there have been hunters around here of uh, some sort of weird creatures. We just saw some of them pass. I'm not familiar with them. They have always said some. They have said something, but I couldn't make out what they what they say. I don't understand their language. Uh, do you think maybe we should go ask for directions? I I don't think that would work, but. I mean, do you think that will work? Do you really want to get 
get involved in all that? I I just want to get home, really, but uh, not necessarily. But if it will help, then I guess I'm willing. Hear a screech of something coming from behind you. Oh. Uh. Um, perception check? Sure. I have a feeling I know what it is, but Lasso doesn't see, so. Oh. Oh, those are damage numbers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that may or may not that. hit. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. That's why I'm just like, well, la 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 la. Blissful <laughs> ignorance. <laughs> not metagaming. Blissful ignorance. But oh, yeah. I, you said I did hear something. Yeah, you heard a screech. Sound like a oh. death scream. It sounded weird, very much like a hyena. Uh, I, I'm gonna look towards our party. Is everyone okay? Besides crowd missing, yeah. I I've stopped worrying about. Where Karat is, I, I, I wow. know he's okay. No, it's what if not he wasn't? Like that. What, what if he wasn't? Then I'll know eventually. Then he would let out a Duergar scream. Go. I I feel like he would uh. <laughs> He'll let out a shrill. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a Pokemon. It's like Duergar, Duergar. No, more like one of those screaming ghosts. <laughs> Oh god, I hate that so much. Um, I hated yeah. that so much. If um, you would see if Thor, then. all of our party members. I, are... That's why I hate it so much. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen it? Yes. The... If our party members are good, then I'll just tell everyone to just keep low, keep quiet. They're and... they're they're following you. It's just we're not actually moving their tokens at the moment. Okay. Oh, I'm not. Um, I'm not is this a passable hole, or is this? Uh, it it seems to be like a a single file. You could easily go through there. Anything bigger, like a large creature, would have to squeeze through. But they could. It's taking a little longer to get through because I would have to squeeze through it. But someone of normal. <laughs> oh, should I be? Should I be that that bitch? Aren't you that bit, Oh yes, I am. <laughs> and my and my position of power has been challenged recently. So, <laughs> seeing the narrow passageway, she'll get ready to start going through, and she'll look back at Holly. Careful, Holly! You might not make it through. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, last year, you hear another screech of a, of something dying. Fuck. Uh, see something. Sneak back over here. She'll poke her head through the hole. Or through the passage. Hopefully somebody hears her. Um, Guys, if you come over this side... Uh, There, I, I, I think I saw one of those dog creatures again. Be careful. <laughs> You're a bunch of uh, laughing. Uh, I'd say now Lasser would probably 
be feeling a bit paranoid. Um, so he's he's gonna be doing like little looks, like, make sure the path is Sorry, clear. Sorry, just because all. because you did did see them. Can you roll me a stealth check? Oh, uh, stealth. Yeah. Okay. I'm assuming you're trying to be a little stealthy. Okay, you're fine. She'll look over. She'll look over towards Lassiter because that's who she can see. And she'll kind of point north and kind of just give him like that. Dust mode. Mm hmm. Eighteen. All right. Well, we're leading the way. So knowing that there's one of those things up there, I'm going to just go this way. See what? Oh, dead end. Well. I hate this so much. I I feel like I know what's happening. <clears throat> uh, uh. Um. Uh, um still stopping. Um, yeah. Still stopping. <laughs> um. Yeah, last three roll me a stealth check. Uh, Karad, roll me a stealth check with advantage. Nineteen. Okay. As we're crossing, fuck. Okay. Oh, fine. Uh, uh, as uh, Lasser is moving around around the corner, uh, he uh, uh, kicks some rocks and causing some noise, and the gnolls and the gnolls turn towards the sound and screech out, "Hehehe, <laughs> has your niggle." Elgin blast. <laughs> How you dare call you call me that? <laughs> I was like, what'd you call me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you kiss your person with that mouth? <laughs> can I Eldritch Blast? Uh, can you see any of them? I can see this guy. Yeah, sure, go ahead. Any of them? Can I? <laughs> That's a wall. Like, doing the line, that's a wall there. Yeah, yeah you're running into a wall. Okay. You would have to move at least. But in any case, we need to roll initiative, so. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's bring your help over. Again, everybody was following you, just. You just didn't move, everyone. Uh, with the sounds of battle, Basidia and, and her, her folk kind of stick around in the back. Oh god, I'm not about the wall. Alright, so I'm going to zoom in so I can make sure I'm selecting people properly. Uh, Alright. I think I got everybody here, right? Alright, start off with a little gauge. Uh, do I have all this on here? I forgot to put all this on here. I forgot to put Elvis on here. The Prince Ront and Stool. Alright. Everybody on here? Mm 
Jim Jar goes first. Just going to come up here and grab some damage. Stealth check, he's definitely hidden. He's going to pop out enough to toss a dagger. Hit. Four, 12 points of damage right to this one. We're going to take a step back and allow Gage to get up, up in people's face. Let's see, here we got. Here. Create a clone of himself over here. And he will go ahead and take the attack action from his Echo. Attacking. Uh, miss. Yeah, this is. Yep, two attacks. And hits. And kills the snow. And that's his turn. Holly. Get there, and if one gets close, uh, right in action, if one of them gets close, to whack at it. Alright. So is gonna come up here. Actually, it's gonna come up here, just kind of like, yeah, it's just gonna come up against the wall, peek around the corner. He's going to attempt a chill, chill touch. That'll hit. That 20. Oh, not much damage, but... He does damage. Knowles! Charge up to here and here. Holly, I believe you're holding in action. Yep, so we'll go. Uh, well, since this one got first, up close first, we'll do a tag on that one. While you're doing that, uh... And we're gonna do Great Weapon Master. Oh, actually, this node doesn't move. So this is gonna stay here and attack the... There go. Let's 
Ooh, minus five. Oh, that's with minus five, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that hits. Twenty-five. And kills us. Kills and all. The other knoll is going to attack the echo. With the spear. Echo, echo. And. Double check feature. And misses. You hear some uh, laughter coming from uh, up in this direction. Uh, the old comes running out here. Well, I was about to ask you, could you ping the direction again, but I think that answers my I think I figured it out. Holy hell. Knew it. God damn it. It's my fault. Always. Yes, I did that one to myself. Here we go. And actually, I need another character, another sheet. Oh, also, here's a handout. Forgot about that. No. I'm the best boy. I haven't seen a null since early campaign to a critical role. All right. The gnolls made their move. Crad. There's Neither. one in front of you and a bunch behind you. <laughs> Seeing that they're taking care of this one and a whole bunch just showed up. Here. Okay. Only two villagers. Yeah. That's that's nice. That that's chef's kiss right there. Because we're just... I feel like a lightning bolt or something. <laughs> yeah, but it's going to be augmented. So, yeah. I am going to do lightning bolt, but using a sorcery point to make it fire. And so I need a deck save from all of them. Fire lightning bolt. Uh, it's going to be 40 damage because it's fire, so I get to add my charisma modifier to it. 40 damage. Okay. Any that fail, save so, half. So, so 20, okay. Just that nice chef kiss of a line right there. One. Uh, succeed. That's 20. Two. Uh, that succeeds. I'm kind of dexterous. Uh, 
Oh, uh, that's a failure. That's a burnt up no. Uh, that's fail. It's another one, dead one. Which fails? But does not die. Um, that one looks special. So, I'm gonna activate my fire shard. And using this one. So. It will take 2d6 damage, fire damage, at the start of its next turn. It is currently on fire. And it will take an additional. Do that now. Eh, 7 fire damage at the start of its turn. Cool. Uh, because I skipped him, because I forgot to, to actually put him in the turn order. Rot goes. You know, come right, right up here. Uh, seeing the, the crispy one, he's just going to make a reckless attack. Because he can. Trying to make sure that he hits. That certainly does hit. And actually, I don't know. That one. He, he's crit fishing. He didn't even crit. But he's reckless attacking, so he's crit fishing. There you go. That's true, I suppose. Alright. So he kills one. Are they not uh, leveling up like us? Nope. They're slower. Yeah. Poor guys. Yep. Oh, Prince Dugger and Ale. Moves quickly up to this one. Cool. Just curious. Cool. Moves quickly up to this one. Makes a uh, clown pack. And I'll hit. Kills that one. Basically, just comes by, slices its throat, throat with his claws, and then he's gonna move up here. Bonus action flurry, flurry of blows. Were you about to say flirt with fl uh, blows? Flurry of blows. It sounded like you almost said flirt. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, oh my. Flashes. Yep, I'll be. Uh, Been there, done that. Nothing. Lassiter! Oh. Uh. Bleh. Oop. Wrong thingy. This thing can catch an Eldritch Blast. Okay. <clears throat> if you can add it. 18. That'll hit. Nice. Minimum damage. And you it. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, it was pretty sage from a uh, nice fiery lightning bolt. Am I able to? This one it? does not look good. Which one? This one. Oh, yeah. Can can I hit that one? Yeah, I think you got line of sight. Uh, it was uh, probably slight cover, but I don't think it's that much cover, so... 26. Nine damage. Alright, and your Eldritch Blast blows his head off. Still killing. Kill, kill, stilling, Jesus. Are you, did, did, are you, did you get, have you gotten a third beam yet, or is that level 11 or something like that? I think oh, I only um, have two. Yeah, I only have two. Alright, cool. Tyra! Mm -hmm. 
Oh, all the juicy targets were taken. So, seeing the possibly one left, and again, being that bitch, he's going to just step out here, and she's going to toss a fireball, just missing Holly, just to, just to tease her. It hits for nine points of damage. Sadly, this one has not been hit before, so it's still alive. <laughs> I didn't shoot anything. I didn't shoot anything yet. Oh, okay. Oh, that's the last one. I'm sorry. Oh, and uh, and you miss. Thirteen misses. <laughs> yep. Damn. All right. Anything else? Nope. I don't think so. All right. All this. See uh, everybody in the back line. She goes <laughs> and is able to move there, and she goes shit. <laughs> and she, she tossed the hand axe at the last one. And this is nice effort. Jim Jar, uh, make sure he's hidden from the one that gets in. Try to. Here we go. House is his dagger. That'll hit. Or some sneak attack. Or 50 points of damage. The left. Age. Goes over here. Flanks with his echo. And makes a couple attacks. Oh, hit. Four. Fourteen points of damage. And killing it. We are out of combat. Do 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 do. Age dissipates his echo. Okay. Minor disturbance. Shall we ca carry on? Quickly, just perception to see if we hear any more of them coming. Uh, you do not hear any further sound noises of any packs. Is everybody okay? Knolls are above ground, right? Uh, no. Give me a religion check. It's an interesting choice. It's a... Excuse me. Religion. 18. Alright. Um, Noles. Uh, Noles. Oh, oh, hey. They said something. Uh, Yinagu. Uh, that is the demon lord of the gnolls. Uh, so you recognize that, and you do remember hearing some stories about gnolls above ground. Maybe you've run into a few while you were as a soldier. But they have a thirst for killing. They're very vicious creatures. Yeah, those bird things are probably dead. <laughs> Prince Durandal, uh searches the body of the big old, the bigger one. Let's see if I can see. He has a different face. 
Lol. Look at that that nose. So and lame. he's carrying uh, two red stones, and it looks like a brown stone of some type. That's no stone. Uh, does it look special? It look like some sort of gems. Uh, looks pricey. Probably worth something. I think. Anybody uh, proficient with the jeweler's kit? Not I. If anybody wants to figure out how valuable they are, you can uh, hold me an intelligence check. Or I can cast identify. You can cast identify. Just. I mean, it's 10 minutes and. We were just attacked, so I'm more paranoid about being attacked. But if you want to just do a straight intelligence check, sure. If it wants to actually load, that'd be great. I am dumb. Uh, Jim Jar takes a look at him and says, Ah! Got, uh, looks like two bloodstones and some brown tourmaline. They are pretty stones, I like. <laughs> uh, this might be worth some in Blingman Stone. I'm not sure, I'm not familiar with the, with the price in these days. Uh, yeah, that would be handy. Uh... How much I, I will note it on here so we can easily say we're that when you go to sell them, you, you can easily sell them. Right. How much money do you, would you say we need to uh, get us through? I mean, you probably don't need much if we go to Bling the Stone and get some somebody who knows route that might have you carry on as they make some uh, ventures back up to the surface. But if you go to, as I said, if you go to to the Shops at Mendel Dareth, it's, uh, it's probably going to cost you a pretty penny. Is is your contact a coyote? A what? A, uh, a smuggler? Eh, maybe. We have plenty of money. Pre-selling all our shit. I was like... Meanwhile, Cyrus looking back like, Guys, come on, we have to get out of here before we get attacked again. Yeah, yeah. Was there... Let me start are, running. Are there no legal ways of getting back to the surface? I mean, there's legal ways. I mean... As I said, if you go to Mendel Derrick, so you can find you probably find a merchant that'll allow you to take in the caravan, but he'll probably ask you for some money. We can find you some good ways. I mean, you, you know, getting. I mean, if you're traveling and you got, even if it's smugglers you're traveling with, you're, it's still gonna be a valid route out. After you get there, you can split off from them. You don't have to hang out with them while they do their smuggling. All right. Is this a way out or uh, yep. a dead end? That's basically how you get out. Yeah, either way, technically. Okay. After getting out of the... Uh, let me actually... Just so you can see. Just, just because we're probably not going to come back here. <laughs> just uh, daylight mode. Let's turn it off. And just... Hold on. This is going to take a moment. Bear, bear with me a second. Can you see everything in the map now? Nope. No. That's too bad. Turned off the dynamic lane. Where's my reveal? Dynamic? <laughs> Ta-da! Reveal. Oh. Uh... There's no fog of war. You should be able to see everything. 
Are you saying I can move my token where I want to, wherever I want to move it now? Yeah, I mean, this is the map. We explore around. You just see a bunch of bunch of rocks. We. Ooh. But if you just leave out of this one in the sides, you're done. That was the Hokora layer. The layer. Uh, all right. Back to the map, and we're going to take a, a quick break here. We'll refresh the map. Okay. A couple minutes, refresh beverages. Come back, and we'll resume. 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 I was going to say it, but I didn't. I'm back, how are you? Everybody, bye-bye.
Everybody back? All but Crad. And Crad's the middle. How'd you like your hook horror hunt? You didn't really hunt the hook horrors. You hunt the things hunting the hook horrors. I was hoping the hook horrors would come would come more at us than anything. It's like we didn't really hunt them; they just attacked us. No, oh, the hook horrors didn't attack you. Yeah, the uh, gnolls attacked us. We were trying to get out peacefully, and they they weren't with it. Yeah, if you didn't notice, the hook horrors won. <laughs> might have run that. Might have been a better way to, to run that. Alright, everybody's back. I'm here. Let's we'll get back to it. We're back on the trail. Yeah, it was day five, right? No, no that was in the middle of day four. Or day three. But going at a fast pace, who kind of took care of about a quarter of your journey. You continue on in your direction of Blingdon Stone and find a good place to rest, etc., etc., etc. Anything you would like to do either on the journey or um, when you go to rest. We camp. I'm good. I, I would like to pick... <clears throat> excuse me. I would like to pick as many mushrooms as I can throughout our journey to take back home. Are you trying to go for a variety, or what are you trying to do? Uh, are you yeah, I'll, I'll do um a little bit of each, uh, specifically the um trippy ones. Some Nidhogg's nose and tongues of madness. Yeah. I find some torch um, socks and a tin mask. One Oh, I clicked on the wrong thing. Yeah, give me a uh, uh, give me a survival check. Maybe, maybe uh, if you would ask for some help from um, your Mykonid friends, they might be able to help you, like pick out some mushrooms. I will find definitely some. ask for help. All right. Roll me a survival check with advantage. Right, roll me a d4. D4. Alright, with their help, you're able to get two of each. So, total number of mushrooms in general, there's like... Oh, there's this whole bunch of different ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... 10, 11, 12, 13. So, 12 of each type of mushroom. Or two oh. of each type of mushroom. You get about 26 different types of shrooms. You only get two uh, Nidhogg's nose and two uh, uh, Tongues of Madness, but, you know. What can you do? Yep. That's it for me. Ooh, actually, uh, at some point, could I try to get Ron to, um, eat one of the tongues of madness? Like, I, I don't want him to know that I'm drugging him, pretty much. Oh my god. Um... 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's just a roofie. Don't worry about it. I mean, it, it's just going to make him tell the truth a little bit. That's all. Give me a deception check. Quickly here. Mm. No. Uh, it's probably not going to be that hard. Yeah. So you're able to easily get him to eat some of the uh, tongue of madness. Uh, Pretty much all I want to know is like is, is he okay? Like what's been bothering him lately he's been like uh, or I'm fine it's just a yeah jeez I'm really over sure line right now really could get you real off some steam of uh, it's just um I, I just want to get out of here it's, it's the thing I've been wanting to do since we left the Velka valve I was my patience has been uh, uh, uh I'm just not that patient right now, so that's all I can think about. What's that smell? Oh crap! Did 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 I make a mistake and give him Nidog's nose too? What do you mean? Oh, he, he said. You said, uh, uh, what's that smell? So I was thinking that... No, he just smelled something. Oh, okay. Uh, can I, can I smell? <laughs> it, it didn't mean he overly smelled something. Is there a smell? It was probably some of Karad's cooking. Oh, okay. It is. He's probably cooking something. Alright, well, uh, I was just making sure you're, you're okay. Just hard to worry, not worried about you. Yeah, so over the next hour, he starts just mumbling various things, things, just kind of like his his constant thoughts of, of getting out, and uh, uh, you hear some um, very lewd things, uh, can mostly I, about you. Can I follow him around to make sure he doesn't, like... He die. doesn't really go anywhere, he just kind of, like, pouts in a corner. Okay. Good. He doesn't want to stop for anything, really, but he, he realizes he needs to rest, otherwise he can't necessarily continue that sort of thing. Yep. I won't do it again, I promise. <laughs> I'm not telling him that I drugged you're, him. You're just telling me that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so you all take a rest. Everything seems to go just fine and swingingly. And, uh, you have your long rest. You can't say wake up in the morning because, oh, uh, in the evening. Or we're in the underdark. What do you, what do you know? And can I get a survival check? And how fast are you going? It's slow, medium, fast paced? Fast. Unless someone says otherwise. Honestly, I think we should start slowing down a little bit. Going fast is too long. It can exhaust us. True, true. So, y'all want to slow pace. It down this A time? normal pace today. Normal pace today. Okay. Uh, easily seem to be making a mm -hmm. decent pace on your way. way. Uh, did, I mean, a little slower than, than previous, but seem to be heading in the right direction. 
Oh. Uh, Cyrak, can you roll me a d20? D20. Yay. <laughs> you have an, another uneventful day of traveling in the Underdark. Mm. With the help of the explorers and the hunters, you're able to find a nice rest. They do, do their meld just as normal. And you're ready to bed for, down for the night. Is there anything anybody would like to do during the day or before you're going to bed? Me? No. Nothing. Nothing. I think I'm gonna. I. I am Lassiter. <laughs> Probably yes, feel like are. things are um, going a bit too smooth. <laughs> All right, I want um, each of you to roll me a d20. Oh no! Not twenty, but it might not mean anything. All right. Well, it means something. Definitely means something. All right, let's say you keep the normal pace for the next couple of days. Last, we're only another D20. D20. You know how D20 rolls make me nervous. Alright, for hours you are plagued by terrible shrieks, moans, and you can hear gibbering echoing through nearby passages, apparently without any origin. I would like everybody to make me a wisdom saving throw. Oh. Go, Holly. Come on, Cred. Come on. Come on. Save you. Oh no, stole. Grad failed. Cocker with wisdom being his dump stat. All right. Uh, for those who got less than eleven. Should be Ront, Stool, and Prince Darendel, and Karad. I need you to add one to your sanity score. For curiosity's sake, does the Nat one matter? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> cool beans. It's a bit worried. Oh, I 
don't think so because of the thing. Pets are ninjas. Brad, what's your uh, sanity score modifier? A dose. Two? Alright, roll me a d100. I'm in danger. I'm whispering you. Uh, you hear some, uh, laughter coming from Prince Darendel, and he stops in place. And he just seems to, like, like, start rolling on the floor laughing. For only two minutes. What? Uh, Ront seems to just stop in place for also two minutes, but he doesn't seem to do anything. It just kind of, like, freezes. What is going on with And still, uh, for some reason, falls over unconscious. <laughs> for about five minutes. What, there's what a time limit on? for mine, or is it just a now thing? Uh, let's see. That's a good question. Uh, for about 90 hours. Okay. For That's a few cool. days. Yeah. This all happens all at once. Yes. Uh, over the hour. Uh, that you're hearing all this? Well, I think, like, after the first stop, I just say, okay, well, they just gotta run their course. And hopefully, they'll be better. Um,. Every time someone, like, stops, could I possibly try to help them, like, get to, like, a 
little safe spot, make them like a little comfort area. <laughs> I'm not actually doing anything to make them comfortable, just like make sure that they're safe out of reach from um, potential danger. Easy to defend if need be. Uh, I guess Syrah would ask these circles about what what's been going on down here, like why why do we suddenly fall into madness? Yeah, uh, the, everyone hears the shriek shrieking and stuff. Yeah. What is that? <laughs> what the? Uh, it tends to be some odd sounds. Sounds I can be made, especially with wind traveling through some of these uh, air moving through the, the tunnels. You yeah, right that before guy. everything's been fine. I don't know. This is maybe you're just not used to being down here. It's one of those things. I mean, every now and then we'll we'll experience something and we'll fall prey to some sort of some sort of madness. Like, is that normal down here? I've been fine this whole time. Uh, that is not not normal. It's 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 maybe. it started ever since we we've been traveling we have some down. Sensitivities here. maybe an issue. <laughs> yes, Sarah. When was the last time you uh, you know? She'll look at you. Since I what? You know what? I hear Ron calling me. That's so weird. He never does that. I'll be back. Yeah, see, I think that's best. <laughs> I'll just walk on over to Ron. Pretend to start talking to him as he's just paralyzed and whatever. Probably hold his hand a little bit. Tell him everything's gonna be okay. He'll get through this. Be home. He's, he's not doing anything. He's just standing there doing his little madness thing. And after it wears off, he's he's like, "What happened?" Uh, <laughs> you were telling me how much. Yeah, I don't know. I was trying to come up with a lie, but um, you were kind of just, you know, standing there, all chilled out and stuff. This day does not go without problems. The sooner we, the sooner we get out of this place, the better. Just agreed. It seems like we'll, we'll never find any peace down here. Is everyone else feeling okay? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll go around, and do my rounds, and check on everyone. Okay, we're As... not done yet. <laughs> You're oh. still traveling. Oh, God. Okay. You're like, what the hell does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, maybe I'm putting something together. Here we are. As, let's see here. I need to. Edit Oh. Uh, open 
this. Yes. All right, I do need you need you your help with uh, one one thing. Sorry. Need to need you all to put yourself in a uh, marching order down this down this hallway. I just kind of threw you on here, so. Oh well, I guess I'd be wherever Ron is. Like behind them or whatever. I'm fine being where I am. Go back here. And get everybody in. Meet shields. Every, everything look good? Yeah, I'm good. Okay, cool. As you're coming up, one of the Mike and Ed, so who is uh, leading the party, all of a sudden, this big old rock, what, what looks to be like a... a waving piece of rock comes out and tries to swat at one of the uh, myconids in the front. The hell is that? <laughs> and what looks to be, for those of you on the surface, might recognize as an octopus. It looks like it's a big old, like, it's like it's made out of rock. But it looks like an octopus. A rocktopus. It's a rocktopus. That you know, roll initiative this time with Mike and it's helping you out. Be a school. Fortunately, a little for two, and that's a minus one. So that should be 12. Alright. Uh, something tell me, tells me this might not take that long. Yeah. Tyra! See this wanna... octopus come out from another tunnel? I'm gonna Please animate the death. Mm -hmm. Yep, she will draw her blade, and she's gonna try the spell that she just learned. Cause why not? And she will unleash her steel wind strike. So you'll see her there, and then she'll poof and vanish. In attack one. Oops, things actually like roll the hit. Uh, oh shit, I missed. Okay. That was one. And then a, a two. That'll hit. 34 points of damage. And a three. That one's gonna miss, probably. That hits. Oh, okay. 
And that kills it. <laughs> well, there goes that. But but I have two more hits. <laughs> I mean, you could you get a hit hit the body. <laughs> Just <laughs> all of a sudden, Syrah kind of like uh, evaporates and, and then appears, and then you see see the this rock post go. Crah! And then just kind of like fall apart in pieces. Air breathing, and, and everything everywhere, and you see see Syra behind, behind with her sword. Just also air breathing, first form, leaf on the wind. <laughs> Lasso just pokes his head out from all the way back there and say, "Are we done? <laughs> What's going on?" Hey, well, there goes there goes that combat. What happens? This Why rock thing stop? goes out, swipes, and I'm just like, teleport. <laughs> yeah, that's a strong spell. <laughs> wow. What level is yeah. that spell? Fifth. <laughs> okay, well, there you go. It's, it's, I can hit five times, I can choose up to five targets. It's 6d10 every time I hit. It hurts. That's grad feeling. Just gonna get the fuck out of here. Just. Oh, fuck this place. And you're back on your tra on the trail. Uh, wow. The explorers, and the hunters are able to find a nice spot for you to to camp down in. Crack cooking. It's crack doing yeah. while he's cooking. Are you cooking? Yeah. Okay. Cool. That means Karad's at least some way okay. Once we get out of here, I'll. I'll be less paranoid, uh, I promise. Uh, 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 Maybe. Uh, oh. Oh no. How much further do you think it is to Blundenstone? Uh, we probably got another 10 day. You see her just slump back in against the wall and just... Uh... Alright. Uh, what are you going? How are you going to travel the next day? Uh, we should probably not not slow, but normal. Uh, Stay normal. Yeah, I'm a bit worried. Day is like uneventful. Should... But you seem to be making progress. You're able to rest for the night? What's Crab doing? Deep in the Underdark. Feel nauseous, just... Bleh. Uh... Would I be around to hear him gagging? Um, I don't know. Is Crad, are you trying to hide any of that? No. Yeah. So, yeah, you probably noticed that Crad's not been feeling very well. Are you okay? You need to get the fuck out of here. Out of this place. Out of the Underdark, or just... Yes. So you are coming to the surface? Yes, yeah, so you gotta get the fuck out of here. When did you start feeling like this? Yesterday? Today? I don't know. Recent. Oh, well, I mean I'm I'm glad to hear it, but once you get up there, what's your what now what are your plans? I don't know, I just need to get the fuck out of here. Okay, well, uh, uh, 
uh, I don't know. It might be nothing, but Bron, Bron is has been feeling the same way. Um, I don't know if it's connected. I mean, I, I understand the the sentiment, but yeah, I mean, but we have to keep it out heads. of nowhere. Like uh, him wanting to leave uh, is normal, but like. Uh, all of a sudden, he was like more wanting. Sure. Yeah, it really. Again, it's just weird how both of y'all are having the same um, experience. Excuse me. Uh. Can I recall when, like, uh, what happened before Ron, um, started really wanting to leave? Uh, I want to say it was during that whole Fred, Ferris Res encounter. Uh, might be sick. I don't know. I don't know what kind of kind of sickness it would be if any uh, maybe we should just keep an eye out Cyrus subtly checks in for mushrooms <laughs> see if anything's growing on them no mushrooms I mean, the last <laughs> the last time someone started going a little nuts you know their head burst open with mushroom spores. I'm just saying. Well, Sarath had already been a bit nuts. Um, the mushroom had nothing to do with him being nuts. Unless I'm completely wrong, then <laughs> I don't know. It was completely the mushrooms. <laughs> ah. I, just, I thought it was just him. It was the fun guy. Okay. He went from a fun guy to a dead guy. Oh. Poor Sarah. I mean, he was a drow, so. Oh, there you go. Whatever you think of drows. Drow. <laughs> the plural of drow is drow. <laughs> like sheep. Alright. <laughs> Maybe we should. Uh. How long have we been traveling this day? Or whatever this counts as? Uh, I mean, you're about, like, seven days. Uh, how long have we been, uh, out, like, um, since last rest? Oh, for, it, usually I travel for about eight hours or so, or so. With rest breaks. So overall, it's probably like 10 hours, 10, 10, 11 hours. Um, my, my question is, uh, are we getting close to that time or uh, are we still marching? Yeah, you seem to be going on, this, uh, on the appropriate route. The uh, uh, Circle of Explorers have uh, determined that, that we're made sure that you're pretty much heading in the right direction. Haven't got yeah. lost. I'm uh, familiar with the, with the Underdark, so... It's uh, very helpful to have your guide. Have a guide. Could I ask the circle leader guy if any of his um people have been uh, experiencing anything out of the ordinary? Uh, no, uh, we, we've been pretty fine. Uh, I mean, you saw how some of the other circles in Never Like Grove were acting, right? You were acting yeah. pretty strange. But that was Here's more under the... the... But Garden. that was you because heard... of Zuckmoy, wasn't it? Yeah, that's probably why. Whatever Zuckmoy is. Not familiar with that. 
Well, do me a favor and just keep a lookout for anything weird. Um, Radio. Although, well, we've encountered a lot of weird stuff in our lives, so. Okay. And we are the creepers. Yeah. It's our job to know the Enderdark. Through and through. Right. Right, right. All right, well, let's be on our way, I guess. All right, so you're able to, to have a nice rest. You wake up in the morning and have another uneventful day. Oh. Anything you would like to do on the trip or at camp? Uh, for me, I'd probably just be watching how Karad's doing because the sudden change is kind of disturbing. Just to make sure he's not a danger to anybody or himself, you know. Just make sure uh, he's okay. The city uh, 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 brews a, uh, a potion for for Karad, um, uh, saying this might help with your stomach for all this retching. Thank you. Just need to get the fuck out. Straight. Shoot, shoots it. Hmm? Just uh, shoots it. <laughs> uh, yeah, your queasiness seems to subside after a few moments. So you, you still have this feeling, but uh, at least you don't feel like retching. Does it feel funny? This feeling inside? Yeah. So exciting. Sorry. Uh, in the end, should someone die? <laughs> oh, shit. Things that DMs shouldn't say. <laughs> They're making reference it, to the song we were referencing just a moment ago. If you start <laughs> referencing a song and then he finishes it, you can't give me like, oh no, DM's doing something. Appropriate. I love it. Not trying to foreshadow anything. In the game. Just in the movie. And we're at that point where I need another uh, D20 roll from each of you. Basically, I'm trying to speed travel along by like having you roll for the three days. What do you want? Oh, that's my D20. It's a D20 roll. Oh, from each of us, okay. Yeah. One for each day. Hey, Cred, roll me a d20. The second one? Yep, please. Seven. D20, let me double check. I think I have that as a picture here. Here we are. Seven. Yeah. Alright, roll me a d6. I don't like all these rolls. Maybe d4. E D.
as you're uh, moving along, you see uh, hanging from an uh, outcropping. And let me see if I can. Uh, the explorers uh, kind of pointed out and just kind of like show you. It says, yeah, what? I do avoid that. What is it? Oh, what pleasure! Oh, what, what pleasure! It's a it's a gas spore. You don't want to hit it. Don't touch it. Is that one of those things Roderick just like walked right through? Uh, before? Maybe. Uh, no. I think that was something else. <laughs> non breathing motherfucker. Uh, well, we will definitely not be going over to it. Hopefully. Pretty easily able to, to avoid it. Yay. Mm. We also need to be careful. It, and actually, as as you get uh, further away, you do see it kind of moving toward in your general direction. But uh, you gotta move a lot faster than, than it. And then one of the uh, uh, hunters... Uh, pulls an arrow and shoots it and, and uh, hits it and then it goes <laughs> but you're well without out of reach of its radius it's Ooh. best to, uh, to put it down uh, what's the radius of the cloud or whatever it is Uh, looks about a 20 foot radius. Okay. Good for her. <laughs> Good for her. Over the next two days, everything seems to to go by just normally. According to the hubby, okay. that's what he said would happen. Okay. Not that she's so vain. She thinks that the song is about her. Another reference. You're so vain. All right. Let's get... Another set of D20 rolls. I think you've traveled about 10 days so far. Oh, nice. Getting tired of people and their stuff. Over the next three days, are you trying to, to speed up or anything? Or are you just going to move at a normal pace? Continue moving at a normal pace? Has I'm everyone around and rot wanting to get out of here as soon as possible? Go a little bit faster. Yeah. So. Spend another three days, make up a day. Uh, the uh, Basidius is my explorers report that we should be about two days from Blindenstone. Sounds wonderful. Here ish. As we get closer, we will depart. Uh, Jim Jeff says, uh, Yeah, if we're going to be within Dave Blingenstone, I might even be able to guide us the rest of the way. That should be, be perfectly fine if you and your. Everybody would like to, to split off from there. I know you don't want to get too close to Blingenstone. 
I, I, I could vouch for you. Uh, well, actually, probably not the best thing. I'm not necessarily the best uh, person to be around. Uh, so vouching might not work for you, for me, but I can get these guys in. It's no problem. But uh, you guys, probably not so much. And the city is like, uh, uh, we, th we thank you, but no, uh, we prefer the wilds. Thank you. And well, anything else? Mm -hmm. I, I would be back to normal, right? Uh, yeah, I think we're probably yeah, past that many hours. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> um. Hmm. No, I think I'm good. And why don't we do Less. two more rolls of, I mean, two more tw D20 rolls for the last two days. Lazar? Roll me a D20. I, I did, twice. Oh, you did. You did twice? Okay. So. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, roll me a D4. <laughs> and <laughs> roll me a D2. Wasn't there a way of like customizing yeah do slash roll 1d2 slash roll whoops all caps roll what 1d2 uh, is there a space yeah you put a space between the roll and the 1d2 there you go one uh the, on the first day, you do run into uh, a moon elf uh, who looks like um, was some sort of slave uh, that might have escaped. She looks; they look emaci emaciated. Oh, we're so close. Lyra will speak out in Elvish and ask them what. Where do they come from? Well, where did you escape from? Uh, Menzo Berzon escaped from the drow. Makes Please, sense. Do you have some food? Water? Uh, of course. Uh, Karad, do you have anything extra that you can give them? Uh, I could whip something up real quick. Sorrow will kind of give her, give them her, like, her water pouch, mm. water skin. Yeah, and thanks to the hunters and explorers, you've been able to keep your food supplies just fine. And also, and uh, still comes up to her and offers uh, a good berry. This one? Yeah. Oh, you, you need? need one for the full day. Yeah. Um, I'll heal her, I guess. Does uh, you feel food? like she doesn't need healing, just food. Ah, okay, well. She's weak, but not no, necessarily. No radiance for you. Oh, how long ago, how long have you been on the run? Uh, several days now. <coughs> She's just chugging down the water. Are there are there drow nearby? Uh, not that I'm aware of. We we escaped the drow weeks ago, but do you know I, I way out? Believe... We're, we're on our way to Blindenstone. There there should be a way to the surface. At least we're we're gonna try to get there. 
please, may I come with you? At least I may be able to rest if the city is... Blingenstone, yeah, hey, uh, don't worry about Blingenstone, we're nice people, we're just uh, the little gnomes, we don't like the dr like the drow. You're not a drow, so we're fine, you're gonna be fine. We'll be able to take care of you, you can rest up, maybe uh, give you yourself a few days, you seem to be a bit tired. And when we're heading out, you can come with them, you can go with them. I'm going to be sticking around here to blend that stuff. My own. So now you have the moon elf with you. Yay. Didn't we Another... just lose someone? Saras. Yep. Saras. <laughs> you did lose an elf. It was a dark elf, though. A drow. So, probably, elf eh, elf. probably for the best. <laughs> Not much of a loss. <laughs> yeah, that's probably true. Elf or an elf. Um, of course, I'd ask them what their, what their names were. And introduce ourselves. Oh, yeah, what is their name? Elf. Elf, okay. <laughs> elf, <Placeholder>. elf. <laughs> I'm sorry, is it elf or alf? Elf. A -L -F. E -L -F. Elf. Elf. <laughs> elf, the elf. Is that an alien life form? They're an eldritch life form. They're two different. I think he knows what we've been talking about. <laughs> He's too young. Oh no, I I, I know the movie. Uh, unless y'all aren't talking about the movies, then then I am lost. Well, it's not a movie. Alf. It's Alf not a television show. Oh. He eats cats. Uh, okay, maybe we're not thinking about the same thing. Don't eat or no? What is that thing? I have no idea. Never mind. I can look it up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that thing. Oh. It is a show. Let me see. We got to escort them with us if everyone's okay with it. Uh, did she give us a name? Uh, Lila. Lila. NPC. So you're able to, uh, um, and uh, everything seems to be going fine. And the Myconids, uh, as you get close, Blingdenstone is uh, just through these tunnels. Um, we, this is where we would leave you. I says, I, I'm going to be missing you, but you guys be safe, okay? And he goes and that... starts hugging each of you. Goodbye, Stool. It's been nice. Are you sure you'll be safe? I'll be safe around. Basidio will take care of us. They're strong. Well, I don't know if we'll ever meet again, Stool, but I hope that you'll stay safe and grow stronger with your new circle. I'm excited. Circle necromancers. I mean, really kind of? Necromancers. Yeah. Uh, they're recyclers. But yeah. Kinda? Sorta, kinda? And with that, I think that's perfect place as you make your way through the tunnel into the area of Blingdenstone. So, well, um, we will leave it there because it's a good stopping point and we're getting close to the end of time. 
And next episode, we'll be able to pop into Bleeding and Zone and see what adventures will be happening there. One step closer. Possibly almost home. All right, thank you everybody for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Bye.